Now uh, we're going to delete some traces, which so here if we click on any free area and we have this properties panel activated, then we have this menu and we can select which objects objects we can uh, select. So now we have only components. So I can only select components. In this case, are connectors, switches. We can activate all. So now we can select anything. So here we we want to remove these traces. With this, we can go segment by segment. But we could also use some shortcuts. Uh, for example, if we press Ctrl H, we can delete all this segment. So this is good to take note of it. And we, we have still the, the command. We don't need to press Ctrl H again, so we can select more things. Now use uh, delete key in the computer. So now select delete. So I can delete multiple traces. In this case, yeah, here there is a name. Okay, because this is a net, but in the previous case, there was no net name associated to it. In, if there is a net, we can also set, use SS to select only a part of the net, okay, from this path to this path. We select Control H, then we select everything which is connected to it. Okay, even in different layers. So SS is only one segment. To root, you have just you can play press P. T, 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 and then you can start routing. So now we have selected the bottom layer. So when do, we do PT, we get an net in the bottom layer. To change the layer, you can press L. The key L will change the layer automatically. We can see on the right that it changes, and at the bottom that it changes the selected layer. In this case, we have top layer, bottom layer, signal 1, signal 2, signal 3, and signal 4. So this is a six layer board. We can see also this. Somewhere here, design layer stack, layer stack manager. So we see we have top signal one, signal two, signal three, signal four, and bottom line. We could remove layers here, delete or add. Okay, but usually we use two layers, four layers, or six layer board. 